What's up guys? I'm back filming another video. I'm starting it off at the abandoned place right now. So real quick before I hop into it, like I always say, please follow all my social medias down below. Slap a like on this video if you're excited for this explore. And also check out my Patreon. It's linked in the description and it's on the screen right now. It's a donation site that you get rewarded for for donating. Helps me out a lot. So please check that out. As you guys know, I do post notifications shout out. If you click the bell and leave a comment saying you turned it on, I'll put your name on the screen. So right now is everybody who turned it on from the last video. Video. So thank you guys so much for turning it on as you guys know It's the best way to see my new videos and thanks again for everybody who did turn it on your names are on the screen And let's just hop into this video right now So this place is awesome. We just walked in. This is like an abandoned. This is exactly what any explorer looks for when they're going through abandoned places. Everything is left behind. Legitimately everything. This is a jackpot. So let me just get a ton of shots for all you guys to see. Guys, like look at this. Ready? You walk in. There's a kitchen there. There's some old luggage right here. So sweet. The full kitchen, like I said. That's a bathroom. It's like an old furnace right here. Look at this old vacuum just sitting here. Everything hasn't been touched. There's a bed, a piano, or I don't even know if this is a piano or an organ. What is that? But either way, look at all this stuff just sitting here. Guys, look at this old like chest, like suitcase thing. It's massive. Look, look at the huge buckles on it. There's so much stuff here just like that. We're just looking around. This is like just an apartment section of the rest of the building. But this is a bathroom, right? This is a bathroom right here. The soap's still on the holder. There's like a little bench in here. It's actually a pretty big bathroom. But it's like no privacy at all. Coming over here, we just found some old spoons and forks. Dude, everything in here is legit. I just got up and left. Something I skipped right over when we were just looking at the bathroom is that this right here is an axe covered up. It's pretty creepy. I don't even know why it would be covered up. There's an axe covered up. Really odd. <laughs> Definitely not touching it. But I mean, I'll come in the bathroom and check out a little bit more. Look at this soap. It's still sitting there. Look at it like dripping. And the brush. It's all still sitting here. There's like a chest right here. That looks like a picture. Look at this old tub. It's definitely cool. This is like hidden back in the woods, as you guys can tell. It's in the middle of nowhere. Some of the newspapers laying around are even from the 80s, but a lot of them are also from 2005, so a lot, they're not too old. But there is a ton of them. Like they're, they're just like all over. And there's a full box right here filled with all old newspapers. This is a fireplace that I guess they took care of by putting in a furnace or a wood burning stove, whatever they're called. And here's all the wood. It says Quaker. I don't, I don't know exactly what it is but it is old, obviously. It's completely rusted. 
but I find this to be dope. I don't know why. It's not even that old, but it's just like the typical 80s, I think vacuum. That's a vacuum, right? Yeah. It's just like the typical 80s vacuum with wheels. It's just so weird looking. It just doesn't fit in at all. And there's just a ton of stuff. There's just so much stuff. Scattered random stuff, some cool finds including this piano or synthesizer or whatever organ something but it is sweet i want to see if there's anything in this trunk it's pretty light i doubt it yeah it's empty unless there's something behind this because you can lift that up right but as you guys see it's empty it smells so bad I don't even know. It's like this material, whatever that's, I don't know. It smells like the This is always the question. If you open up the fridge and there's just something in it. <laughs> Body or you guys can't really see too well, but thankfully it's empty. Yeah, I'm always expecting to find like a head cut off in here. Thankfully, we live to not see that another day. There's just an ice tray. I don't know why. I always find touching like refrigerators and stuff kind of gross. I don't know. I have a picture there's going to be like food and like bugs all over it, which is probably a bad fear to have when you explore abandoned places. And then over here, it's just some shelving. It's just a closet with like the heater and stuff over there. But it's a really big closet. I'm just curious about all this stuff. Maybe they just kind of use this as storage. So while we're in here exploring right now, go ahead and drop a comment and let me know what is your favorite thing we found so far. I'm going to keep exploring it, looking around for anything cool that we can find. But let me know as of right now, what is the coolest thing we found? Obviously, the piano is cool, the vacuum, the stove, any of the things in the kitchen. Drop a comment right now and let me know. It's not too old though, because as you see, we got a VC, and that's not even a VCR player, it's a radio. Front loading stereo turntable. I thought that was a VCR. Totally wrong though. So guys, we're just exploring it in here and I'm just going through, I'm just getting some cool shots and just really checking everything out. This place is so dope. I'm happy we found this. It's never been explored and everything is left exactly how it was from whoever was using it. I'm gonna go and see if we can get into the other part, see if it's open, everything's just open, so I'm sure we're gonna get over. Yeah, I'm gonna get some more outdoor shots and check out some more stuff, but hopefully you guys are enjoying it so far. Hopefully we can find some more. I'm so happy I found this. I, when you go in these places, a lot of times they move stuff out or kids ruin it, it is in great condition, and I'm happy I got to film it. As you guys know, we don't touch, take, or anything. We just film it exactly how it is, and I put it out on the internet for people who enjoy it. but as you guys can tell this place is massive Like I said, guys, we're driving all around, like hours apart, but there's just a ton of stuff found. So if you guys did enjoy, please leave a like on this video, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.